Hey folks, David Creative Craft House to show you our Mexican Army Cipher Machine. This was state of the art about 100 years ago, um, actually used uh, by the Mexican Army um, uh, just before World War II, uh, World War I, I'm sorry, in particular. Uh, what we've got here are we have five uh, wheels, um, all will rotate independently from one another. Uh, they're all deeply laser engraved. Not, this is not ink, uh, so it should last a lifetime. Um, the wood I use is alder because it lasers so nicely, and you can see the, the bottom wheel is a quarter inch and then five thirty seconds, and the top wheels are uh, one eighth inch wood. Uh, how does this thing work? Well, uh, really, it's very easy to encode and decode a message if you know the keyword. Otherwise, <laughs> look out, you're in trouble. Uh, but here's how it works. You'll notice that uh, we have the letter of the alphabet around the big wheel. And then uh, we have the numbers um, 1 through 99 and then 00. zero. So we've got 100 different two-digit numbers um, between the four wheels on top. What you need to do to start this thing is to uh, know what the keyword, or to set a keyword if I'm going to encode something. And typically that was done based around the letter A. And in the case of the wheels are set now, now these wheels do turn, and there's over 300 different possible permutations of the wheels, so you kind of got to know that keyword. Uh, it, it, the, the, the key uh, for this one would be A, 18, 44, 63, and then uh, 79. That defines how the wheels are set relative to one another. Uh, to encode a message, uh, here's what I would do. Uh, I would keep the, key, the wheel in this position. And if my message to encode was started with the word puzzle, I would come to the P. And you'll notice how well everything lines up. Uh, it, should, it should be just about perfect. Uh, I'd come to the P, and I would pick any of the two-digit numbers associated with the P. So I might write down uh, 33 uh, as the first part of my encoded message. And then I'd go to U. I pick any of those four numbers, so I might write down 12. Then I'd go to Z. I pick any. I might pick 62. And another Z. I might pick a 43. Then I'd go to L. Uh, then you can get you get the idea here. I'd go to L and I might pick uh, 90. And then E uh, and select um, 22. So that would be my first word encoded, the series of two-digit numbers. Um, it's interesting that you know you can pick any of the four uh, numbers possible, and you can vary the, the usage of them. So it makes it pretty hard to uh, quickly decode this kind of thing without having the wheel and without having the uh, the key uh, for for how to set the wheels. Now, uh, we sell this, uh, you know, obviously it's a fully functional encoding machine. I'm also going to include uh, some, some encoded messages, call them puzzles, if you will. Uh, your, your goal will be to try to figure out um, what, they, what the message says. You'll have the wheels to help you, and I'll give you a hint uh, along the way if you need some, a hint on uh, maybe the first, uh, first couple number, first couple numbers of the, uh, of the uh, key to help you along the way. So an interesting puzzle, uh, quite historical, and um, hope it's something that you can enjoy. Made right here in our Florida shop. Thank you.